As evening fell on Russia's Khmeimim air base in western Syria, the first drones appeared. Then more, until 13 were flashing on radars, speeding towards the air base and a nearby naval facility. The explosives armed aircraft were no trouble for Russian air defenses, which shot down seven and jammed the remaining six, according to the country's defense ministry. But the failed attack was disturbing to close observers of drone warfare. The technology of swarming, drones deployed in squadrons, able to think independently and operate as a pack, is in its infancy, but armed forces around the world, are investing millions of pounds in its development. And China is at the forefront of the race. China recently conducted a test involving a swarm of loitering munitions, also often referred to as suicide drones, deployed from a box-like array of tubular launchers on a light tactical vehicle and from helicopters. This underscores how the drone swarm threat, broadly, is becoming ever more real and will present increasingly serious challenges for military forces around the world in future conflicts. The China Academy of Electronics and Information Technology, see it, record-breaking drone swarm experiment in June 2017, involving nearly 120 small fixed-wing unmanned aircraft. Four months later, SEAT conducted its own larger experiment with 200 fixed-wing drones. Some reports have suggested that the drone swarm seen in the SEAT video represents an actual operational capability that the People's Liberation Army PLA, now has, but whether or not this is the case is unclear. The overall system, especially the ground-based mobile launcher, certainly looks very mature and, as already noted, SEC and its subsidiaries have been actively working on swarming technology for years now. The US released video of more than 100 micro drones over a lake in California maneuvering as a collective organism, sharing one distributed brain for decision making and adapting to each other like swarms in nature, an Air Force scientist said. Part of what makes drones so attractive is their low cost drones are a cheap way to boost the sheer size of a force. Western militaries are trying to find ways to add numbers to the equation, to complement these expensive, bespoke aircraft and ships with cheaper systems that can augment them.